Now, 168 million years ago, Oxfordshire was covered by a shallow sea, with the land to the east extending towards London. This was the Jurassic period, and Oxfordshire was a land of dinosaurs. During this time, this area was tropical, and the sea was absolutely teeming with marine life. This shallow sea, covering nearly the whole of southern England, was quite extraordinary, and for most of it, the water would only have been knee-deep. The prints displayed in the museum garden were discovered at Ardley Quarry, just ten miles from here. They've been preserved with incredible detail, even down to the claw marks of individual animals. But how do scientists think this happened? Well, the dinosaurs walked across this area that was only exposed above sea level for a short time. The climate was hot, so the footprints were baked hard by the sun. And before they had time to be washed away again by rain or degraded by wind, a storm brought the sea back in, and with it a load of sediment which filled the footprints up and buried the whole bed. Over time, layers of limestone have built up on top of the prints, only to be discovered by chance during our modern industrial age when the quarry at Ardley was being reused for landfill. From studying the prints, we can see the animal changing speed. The distance between footprints becomes much greater, up to five metres, which corresponds to a change of speed from about two or three miles an hour up to something like 20 miles an hour. We can also tell the megalosaur changed the angle of its feet on the ground as it increased its speed. These tracks are the world's largest set of dinosaur footprints that show that the animals were running. These prints were excavated and preserved for everyone to enjoy by Virador Waste Management. Expert rock cutters carefully cut out the sections of rock. They were then transported here to the museum garden.